What's up guys and welcome back to Broken Age. In the last episode, well, we were playing as uh, Vela, but now we're back as Shay, exploring this beautiful land. Ooh, what is this? Was this here before? a fountain for that weirdo? Or is this some kind of warning about him? Uh, maybe it is. This little note here, what is this? Um, hmm. Looks like someone tied this ladder down. There's a note. Guys, quit moving my ladder, please. You're really cheesing me off. Signed, Gus. <laughs> cheesing him off, I love that. Move it. I don't want to cheese off Gus. Yeah, but I'd like to climb up. Oh man, his egg is about to hatch, or her egg. <laughs> she has an eye open. I want to see it. Looks like it's having a little trouble hatching. Maybe I should. Oh no. Uh oh. Oh gosh. Oh, oh no. Oh. Ow. So the little guy's about to hatch. That is awesome. Maybe we can find something to throw at it in the meantime. I don't even know like what we could do with that. Um, oh, maybe we should start showing the Vela poster to people. Actually, let's go up and talk to Vela's dad. Why haven't we done that? Oh man, he's here. <laughs> How you doing, bro? Hi, my name's Shay. I'm from... out of town. Me too. I'm from Sugar Bunting. My name's Husker. This here is Walter. Walter. Sticking with that, are you? Yep, he is. Trust me, I've tried. Did you say your name was Walter or Walt Er? My name was lightened to Walt Er by Harmony Lightbeard. <laughs> it's not a cult thing. It is a cult thing. No, wait. It's not a cult thing. Quit confusing me. <laughs> oh, you mean that weird guy on that fake cloud over there? There's nothing fake about Harmony Lightbeard or his thra. Mm. It has stitching holding it together and a big bow at the bottom. Didn't you notice? It's pretty obvious. <laughs> We're all beaten up on his beliefs. I feel bad at the same time he's sort of a jerk. Have you guys seen a giant monster flying by here? Some people call him Mog Chothra. Not since he came to my village to destroy it. My daughter, Vela, fought him off. Can you believe it? She was so brave. She taught us all a lesson that day. Ooh, cool. So, I, I'm just, it's so cool that he actually sounds proud and they've learned something from her. I thought that they'd be angry, but it's so cool that he's like accepting it. I hope the rest of the family is feeling the same too. Your town wouldn't happen to be named Danger System 5, would it? <laughs> no, I think I mentioned I'm from Sugar Bunting. What kind of name is Danger System 5? Sounds like something from a kid's action program. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, something to entertain little kids, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Angriness. What's this little hut for? It's my wife's cloud shoe business. She was working hard to make money, while well, I just worked on giving it away. She's run off now, and I have no idea where. She went to go fishing. I think I might have seen your wife. Really? Where? Don't tell him. You know what, Walter? When she's ready to come back, she'll find you, okay? <laughs> I like how whimsical right. he is. Well, see you guys later. Take care, Shay. Well, it looks like Walter's starting to become a better guy. Can we talk to Walter specifically? No, 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 there's not much more we can do. We can show the poster. Will that do much? You know this girl? Oh, I see you got one of our flyers. We're spreading them all around, hoping to find out where she went after she landed here. I told you everything I know. Hmm, okay, we hear snoring. Oh, that's from the bird. We need to find out how to get to that bird. I really want to see the egg hatch. But all right then, with that being said, how about we head down here? There's just so many people we can talk to and find out what's going on, I love it. Um, oh boy, is she still here? Oh, it's her mother. All right then, what's going on? I want to run over. Run, Jay, run. <laughs> Use those track legs. What happened to this place? Haven't you ever been to the Maiden's Feast? Nope. No. Weird. Why do I get the feeling you're lying? I mean, he was there by association. No one should ever have to go to a maiden's feast. And no one ever will again, if I can have anything to do with it. I'm cool with that. I like everyone's sort of getting on Vela's boat though, that's really cool. What exactly is a maiden's feast? Something we've always had to do. So we were told, and we believed it. We thought it a great honor. We were so happy for Vela, so proud of her, so foolish. Oh, they sort of regret it too. So, Maiden's Feasts are bad then? 
My daughter taught us that when she fought the monster. You see, it didn't destroy the town. It just ran away. She was right the whole time, all those years. All those girls, for nothing. I'm not sure if you want to hear this, Morelia, but you're actually cheering me up right now. I mean, that's the thing, it's like, everybody gave the girls to the Mog Chathra out of fear of what could happen. But then it finally happened, and nothing happened. <laughs> so they were all foolish and gave up lives for nothing, or what they perceive so far to be giving up lives. There's been no proof that the girls have actually been killed, so I guess we'll find out sooner or later. Is there anything I can do to help? I just want to find my daughter. To beg her forgiveness and tell her how proud of her I am. Please, please be my mother. <laughs> what were you guys talking about when I walked up? I was just trying to cheer up this young lady here. But she's just starting to realize what a loser I am. You are not. Then why didn't Mog Chathra pick me? Well, uh... I'm not sure, honey. Maybe he was in a hurry. Um, who are you again? My name is Shay. I'm not from here. Listen, Twyla. It's time to move on. And do what? The Maiden's Feast is the only thing I've prepared for all my life. Well, I'm sure you're good at lots of other things. Like, uh, let me think. <laughs> Oh, algebra. Algebra. Nope. Not part of maiden's training. Swinging? You making fun of me? Not getting chosen for things? That's just mean. You're not really helping right now, Shay. Fixing spaceships? No, we don't have many of those around here. Well, at least your costume is cool. Oh, thanks. Made it myself. You made that stuff? Donning dress by yourself? That's amazing, Twyla. Meh. That lot of good it did me. Hmm. Well, it's, you still look good in it. Do you think you could make me a costume? Huh? Oh, I think that would be a great thing for you to do, Twyla. Well, maybe if you had a pattern and some material, maybe I could whip something up. Okay, I'll get a pattern and the material and be right back. Oh, exciting. All right, I guess we're having a costume now. I don't know, like, why Why do we need a costume? Um, well, what, let's try this. Will this work? So, can you make me one of those? Oh, that's adorable. How old is your baby? <laughs> oh, it's for me. I need it a little bigger. Well, I suppose I could use this for a reference. There's my can-do gal. Just get me the material you want for your giant baby onesie and we're good to go. <laughs> baby it's onesie. It's not a... Oh, never mind. Be right back with the material. Alright then, so it doesn't look like we have anything that could be counted as materialistic. I don't think this set counts either. I don't want to depress them with my dead friend. <laughs> you might, I don't know. Alright, let's keep going though. I love this, it just it twists everything that was already so twisted. And that's always fun. So we do need to find a way. Can we... Well, really quickly, really quickly, can we go up here? and go to the tree, or will it just, will I be stopped? Will I be squandered by the bird? The sleeping bird, he's all like, don't get past me on my egg. I'm not sure, but to find out, yep, yep, not gonna work. Okay then, we'll go over to the right then and see how uh, Maggie's doing. And yeah, and check out on that. Hmm, is she hey. here? Oh, there, there's old man, dude hey, man. You wanna buy a cupcake? Okay, so here's Maggie. Oh gosh, I keep falling. <laughs> all right then, let's check this out. Oh, well, he's, they're talking to us. I'm Shay. Want a cupcake, Shay? I'm um, sure. I want a cupcake. Great. Got any money? No, but I support your cause. <laughs> you don't even know what the That's cause great. is. But we need funds to pay for printing, distribution, baking, frosting. Come back when you get some real cash, okay? But what is their, what is their cause? What's the special cause? We're raising money for an awareness campaign about her missing sister. Oh, that's cute. And about the lies of the Maiden's Feast system. Yeah, Cupcakes Against Lies. <laughs> this seems like a good cause, Cupcakes Against Lies. I love that. What exactly are the lies of the Maiden's Feast system? They told us that we had to offer maidens as a sacrifice to save our village. And we just went along with it because that's how it's always been done. Yeah, us too. 
But we were all lied to. Yes. Yes, we were. See, Even Rocky, Jay. I told you it'd be easy to convince people. Why is it only maidens who are sacrificed? Great question. Thank you. We have a lot of questions just like that. All right, then. Hmm. So you're going to get rid of the whole system? One cupcake at a time. Each one is like a question. We go from town to town, selling cupcakes, asking questions, until it's like a giant snowball of cupcakes and questions, rolling on and on and getting bigger and bigger, until it's big enough to take down a whole mog itself. Wow. All right then, yeah, they have their plan set. You know, you gotta start small. Where are your parents? Well, my dad is in my mom's cloud shoe hut, getting parenting lessons from Rocky's old man. And my mom's trying to cheer up another victim of the Maiden's Feast we met. A girl my sister's age. And I'm not supposed to tell anyone where my mom is, but I know. <laughs> Let's just say she's catching dinner. <laughs> well, bye. Good luck with the bake sale. Missing persons awareness campaign and revolution by way of cupcakes. That's what I said. What a long name. <laughs> that is so cute, though. I love that so much. Let's not talk to these two, though. They just need to be bantering about something. Okay, old man. This time, you're going down. Hoorah! Ooh, ooh. Uh, Finish him. Uh, how'd you do that? <sighs> no, he's not even trying. He's from a warrior class. You can't beat him. Say there. Huh? You guys know any place around here to get some money? Oh, I have lots of money. My dad says it's important to give it away. You want some? Yeah. Well, just enough to buy a cupcake. Here you go. Thanks. Cool. That was Why easy. Thank so much. Whoa, Pops gives it to me to give to Harmony, but I know Harmony likes to stay light, so I keep most of it myself to lighten his burden. And I'll never hold up in court. <laughs> Somehow, I think you're going to end up the hero of your family. <laughs> I know, because I'm a lawyer. I find that funny that Harmony, the guy who's supposed to be this good figurehead of lightness, takes donations and bribes. Why are you beating up this little kid? Not nah, teaching him how to fight. I'm on lesson five. Hooray. He begged me. Teach him how to be a warrior, old man. Just keep doing that. What are you guys doing all the way out here? We needed to find a place far away from everybody. Some people don't like to see an old man beating up on a little kid. Or the other way around. <laughs> uh-huh. They seem to be getting along, though. I love this. It's just a combination of cultures and people getting along. Did you guys see that bake sale over there? Yep. Frosted them cakes myself. Fastest gun in the West. <laughs> oh boy. Whoa. Dang. Almost out of the red stuff. Well, I got enough for one more cake. I better save it. I want to make sure I have enough to make one for Bella when we find her. That's cool. So he even knows how to bake. But he just likes to stay with the warrior stigma. You frosted all of those cupcakes by yourself? I can't help it. I see a blank cupcake, I just have to frost it. I'm against this whole baker thing, but if we're gonna do it, and I'm gonna be the best at it. <laughs> I love his personality. Fighting. Alrighty then. Do you really need that cane? You seem pretty light on your feet. Well, I do seem to have a lot more get up and go. Now that Bella's inspired me. Seeing her kick that bog red in its soft bits really put the fight back in my bones. But I still need the cane. It's where I keep my frosting. Okay, back to your lessons. That's cool. Your feet, soldier. I am. Oh. I sort of feel bad for Shay because Shay was never trying to do anything wrong, though. But he also, like, but Vela, Vela tried to do everything right and it inspired basically a movement between her family, it seems. But Shay hasn't done the same, even though he's been trying to do the right thing. He hasn't really inspired anybody, which is sort of disappointing, but. Hey, hey, you want to buy a cupcake? Yes, I do. I want to buy a cupcake. No, 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 I'm falling. Fun Don't, no, no, no. Here, I'm going to give you the, the darn coin. Give me a cupcake. Hey, can I buy one of those cupcakes? I got money. Great! I will take that money. Here you go. Here's your cupcake. Hooray! We got a cupcake. Thing is special. It was her favorite kind. Well, actually, it's my favorite kind. But I never let her have any before, 
And now she's gone. So now I wish I could. Aww. Hey, Rocky, it's okay. We'll go and find her. You know, she's probably out beating up some poor Mog right now. That is most definitely true. <laughs> uh, thanks for the cupcake. They've got red I know, it's awesome. Thank you so much for the cupcake, and thank you guys so much for watching. This has been a fun episode, just exploring the cloud area. I think in the next episode that we play as Shay, we're actually gonna go back to, um, the other dude, the balding guy that has our clothes. I already forget his name, but we're gonna be going back to him and hopefully getting some problems solved there so that we can, um, make some progress. I know that I think there's still more to talk to him about, but either way, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this episode. Make sure to give it a like if you did, and share it with your friends and family, comment in the comment section below, all that kind of cool stuff. But either way, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.